What's up, bro? It's Rasfano. Um, I want to talk about social media, bro. And it's not even like social media, but it's just the distractions, bro. It's like full of distractions these days, bro. Everywhere you look, cause social media. I'm not gonna be one of these guys that say social media is bad. Like one, of, like I feel like older people. Are, oh, social media is ruining the generation. It's killing. You know what I mean? Cause it's not like it's a bad thing, bro. Like. You go on TikTok, there's some funny stuff on there, bro. You watch YouTube, there's some good stuff on there. There's some funny things on, on there. Like, you laugh, you feel good. But I think that's the problem, bro. It's like, you go on social media and you scroll, right? Like, TikTok's the main thing. I think TikTok's like the number one distraction plaguing young kids today. Then you go on social media. Like, I'm, a, I'm on NoFab, right? I'm trying to stop jacking off, trying to stop watching porn trying to clean my mind bro trying to get the, the 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 lustful desire taken care of bro trying to put off the flesh trying to be able to be in tune with myself like that's the whole thing with spirituality it's like fasting and sobriety and celibacy because it's like okay you put away all the stuff you're feeling all of the distraction all of the misdirection all this other stuff and then you get to the root of who you are bro right because who do you it's, it's hard to know who you are, bro, when you're constantly just watching some shit on a screen, jacking off when you feel a certain way. It's like, bro, why why is it that if you feel horny, you got to do something about the feeling? If you feel sad, you got to do something about, oh, if I'm sad, and here's the thing, oh, if I'm sad, I got to replace it with, or if I'm insecure, or if I feel some type of way, break up, whatever, I got to replace the feeling, bro. It's like they say, oh, you can't create energy. You can't destroy energy. You can transfer. It's like you you, you don't want to feel sad, so you replace it with pleasure. That's what I do. That's what most people fucking do, bro. That's the logical thing. I feel sad. I'm going to replace it with pleasure, right? I feel low right now, insecure, so I'm going to go jack off. I'm going to go because that's when it always hits you, bro. When life is good and everything's going your way, Bro, you could go days without social media. You could go days without whatever because you're not even thinking about it. Imagine being on a vacation, having the time of your life. You're not on TikTok, bro. You're not out here trying to, you know what I mean? Like, you're too focused on what you're doing because you're enjoying life. But when life is bad and, and it's like they say, idle hands are the devil's workshop, bro. And that's the truest shit I ever heard, bro. Because when you're laying in bed with your phone, bro, bro. It's like you can't put yourself in that situation. If I'm an alcoholic, bro, the last place I'm going is a fucking bar, bro. Like, why would I go there? Like, you got to be wise about where you put yourself in a situation in, bro. Well, with social media, it's a distraction, bro. That's the main thing. It's not like it's bad. Like, there's some stuff on there that will trigger you, and there's some stuff on there that maybe they're trying to indoctrinate you or whatever. But for most people, it's just a good time. It's a pleasure thing, bro. So, yeah, is that bad? It's like, nah, but... If you have a life where you got things going on, like all of us do, for example, you feel insecure, you went through a breakup, you lost your job, whatever, something made you feel some type of way. If your solution is to go jack off or to go like that becomes your solution, bro. And that's the thing. People say, oh, um, this person has a drug problem, bro. They have a drug problem. They're doing so much drugs. They got a drug problem. It's like, nah, bro, they got a drug solution, bro. They got an alcohol solution. The, the alcohol, the drugs, the porn, all that, social media, that's the solution to their problem, bro. That's how they're solving all this shit, bro. But it's not sustainable. How the fuck? Bro, it's not sustainable, bro. But we all know this, bro. We all know it. It's like we all know it, but we can't do it, bro. Because you could look at, like, Juice World. I said this before. Like, he said in the song, they say if I'm going to, if I keep taking these drugs, I won't be here. But if it wasn't for the drugs, I wouldn't be here. In other words, the thing you're saying is killing me. The drugs are killing me. Oh, you need to stop taking drugs. That's keeping him alive because why? Oh, it's an escape from his reality. The anxiety, the depression, the fame, the pressure, the stress, all of that, bro. And it piles, 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 piles on. And if you just keep sweeping it under the rug, because that's what escapism is. Oh, it's a distraction, right? Okay, I'm going to go do a drug. What is a drug? It's mind altering, right? How do you see the world? You see it through your mind, bro. The mind really is the reality, your perception, all that. So you're changing your reality, bro, for a little bit of time. It's not sustainable, bro. We've been over this. Not sustainable. Not at all. So what happens? You get weaker and weaker, bro, as time goes on. It's a, it's a, it's a, 
it's like a damn crutch, bro. It's a crutch. And you get weaker and weaker. You can't even walk on your two legs when you go back to your sober reality because, bro, you couldn't deal with it. You can't deal with it. It's too much, bro. That's why I said I don't smoke weed. When I made a video a while back, I said, man, I don't smoke weed because it's it's an escape. It's not like it's bad. It's not like, you know what I mean? But it's just not good. So it's like, what am I doing it for? It's like, oh, I get to escape from my reality. But what? how is that going to help my actual things that I'm going through? Because the majority of the time, porn, it's like I say, it's like porn's not the problem, bro. It's the solution. So what's the problem? Oh, you got insecurities. Okay, so let's dig deeper. What's the real problem, bro? Well, I got this, I got that, I got that. You go down this little hole and you realize the root of the problem. But it's like I said, it's like pulling weeds, bro. You got a, a yard full of weeds. If you ever pull weeds, you don't pull the weed and just take the branch that's sticking out of the ground. You got to grab it, sometimes shovel and pull the whole root out of the ground or else it's just going to keep growing back. The root is where it all comes from, bro. The stem is what you see. The root is the nutrients. That's what's actually that's the actual weed in and of itself bro so if you can't get rid of the root the weed comes back but that's the thing oh if i take drugs what are you doing you cut the the, the stem you cut what you can see what you can feel and then what the root just stays the same and that's the thing too it's like well who said oh i feel bad so i gotta now i gotta feel good oh i feel horny so now i gotta do something about the feeling you try to replace the feeling bro that's what i do Oh, I feel insecure. I feel sad. So I got to replace it with pleasure. That's that's what we do, bro. That's what we do. When you feel low, do you watch porn, bro? Do you get the feeling to watch porn? When you feel low, do you get the feeling to go eat some good food? Do you get the feeling to go snuggle up in bed? Do you get the feeling to just have comfort and pleasure, bro? That shit kills more people than anything, bro. It's like they say, going to hell in a handbasket. It's like, it'll be comfortable, bro. Like, that's the only way. You can't drag them up down to hell, bro. Like, they're going to resist, resist. But you got to make them comfortable with living in this state of just being with their issues, but just escaping while it eats them up inside, bro. And that's the worst. That's a slow death, bro. And that's the worst thing about it, bro. That's the worst thing because you, you feel low. So then you try to combat it with feeling high. So then you combat it, right? So now where do you feel? Okay, now you're in the middle. So what do you feel, bro? You feel nothing, bro. You feel fucking nothing, bro. How many times do you jack off and you feel nothing afterward, bro? You drink, you wake up, you feel nothing, bro. You do drugs, you wake, bro. You feel, no you're numb, bro. How many rappers, how many people? I feel numb, I feel numb. I got money, but I'm addicted to drugs. All this, my life's good, but I do that. I'm numb, bro. That's the worst part of it all because, you know, people, and this is just my theory, if there's people that are self-harming and stuff, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but people will cut themselves, bro. People will do things, take hard drugs, but it's like they just want to feel something, bro, because they've been doing this for so long. I feel low, so what? You feel low, so you take a drug. Now you feel here. Now you feel even lower, so you got to take more, then you're back to here. You feel like you got to come back. Whatever it is, but you just get lower, 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 bro. And your tolerance goes goes up, 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 up until you're just too weak. It's 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 almost like you lose your freedom of choice, bro. Your free agency, you can't even choose anymore. The drug is taking control, bro. And it's crazy because it's a real thing, bro. Like the the like they say the the demons or the devil of like whatever. It's like that can take over you, bro. It's like you're a whole different person. Like I know people that are alcoholics drink all the time they're like debaucherous people they drink and they're rambunctious and all this stuff i know people that are good you know very well put together stoic individuals they drink and what they're just as rambunctious bro it's like that's not them anymore bro that's like the spirit of alcohol now living through them bro same with when you feel horny you let it take control it's no longer you bro but it's like the thing of just being able to sit with a feeling and not identify with it and say oh I feel sad, so I'm sad now. Oh, I feel horny, so now that's me. I'm horny. That's me. I'm horny. I'm mad, so now I'm angry. That's me. I embody that shit, bro. That's what we do. Because we identify with, the, with, with life so much, bro. Because we don't know who the fuck we are, bro. It's like, who are we, bro? Who are we? So we got to feel something. We got to attach to something, bro. But it's like they say, that's what the ego just wants to be something, bro. 
It wants to exist because it's not real, bro. It's in the mind. It's like you can't. It can't be anything. So it tries to attach to all these things. Oh, I'm this. I'm a Republican. I'm a Democrat. I'm a, you know, I'm white. I'm black. I'm a girl. I'm a boy. Whatever. It's like all these labels, right? It's like, that's me. But it's like, that's not really you. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're beneath all of that, bro. Like, the real you, you would find if you didn't feel anything. It's like going fishing, bro. When people go fishing, I've gone fishing, like, maybe two times. They, they throw the fishing reel into the ocean, right? Into the lake. It's a still lake, bro. It's not moving at all. But it hits the lake because it's so still. Hits the lake and it ripples. <sighs> if there's fish underneath that hook when it goes in, the ripples, they go away, bro right but what does the fisherman do the expert fisherman bro he sits there bro he just sits there bro he just waits you don't you don't move the damn fishing pole around and try to like force this thing to come to oh i gotta move it's been five minutes no you wait you wait and once the water's still and the fishing rod's there boom it comes to you bro the fish just comes in bro because now it's natural it's 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 a normal environment for them but that's the thing with like meditation uh sobriety like fasting um celibacy bro going without the pleasures of the world the feelings the distraction and all this stuff the identities and all this stuff it's like that's when it just comes to you bro and it happens to everyone man it just came to me i was driving mind was clear it came to me i was taking a shower wasn't really thinking of anything no distraction it came to me bro yeah, because you're not trying to, you know what I mean? But we try to solve all this stuff. Well, I feel sad. So I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. And then you get lost in the cycle, bro. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Because I box it all up in the same thing. Social media, porn, drugs, all that is a distraction, bro. It's an escape. You want to escape, bro. That's the reality. But it's like you can't escape pain, bro. You can't escape struggle. You can't escape feeling low. That's the human experience, bro. What, you're not human? It's like, of course, bro. You're going to feel low. You're going to feel sad. But it doesn't mean you got to get rid of the feeling right away. You know? Because that's, that's just where the reliance comes in, bro. But that's what I'm trying to work on, bro. It's, it's like the most difficult thing, bro. That's like the struggle of life, bro. Trying to see through the worldly shit and, and get to who you actually are, bro. But you really can't. I said in the last video, bro, there's not much you can do. It's like the more you try to try to do it, it's like a dog chasing its tail. Like it's it's just it's all wasted effort. It's, it's wasted energy, bro. You get further from it by doing that. Like fishing. You can't fish and then move the rod all over the. Oh, where's the fish? Where's the fish? They're just running away from you, bro. Like they say, bro, when you chase something, it runs away, bro. But that's what I say. I don't think social media is bad, bro. I really don't. I don't think it's like objectively bad. There's good videos out there. There's good posts out there. There's good people out there. You know what I mean? But it's just a distraction, bro. That's the role it kind of has played so far in society, bro. People use it as an escape. To close their eyes and not look at what's really going on behind the scenes, bro. To get deep down into what's going on. Because the feeling is just like the top, bro. Like that's that's the that's the weed that's showing, bro. That's not even the root. It's like, why do you feel this way? Because you could get even more deep, deep down into it and, and figure it out, bro. Or at least try to grow from it. It's not a pleasant experience, but like I said, what like pleasure? You want to feel pleasure all the time, bro? Nah, that's 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 worse than anything, bro. Feeling pleasure all the time because then what happens, bro? It's like you feel pleasure all the time. That becomes the baseline. You don't appreciate. It's like being born rich. You don't appreciate money. You don't appreciate a good meal. You don't appreciate the finer things in life. But that's just not even true riches, bro. It's like, like I said, family, health, wisdom, bro, friendship, love, all that, bro. But it's just so much distraction, bro. It's like the person that can be able to look beyond that, bro. It's crazy, bro. But that's just what's been on my mind, bro, Rasfana. I'll catch y'all.